Good morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you have been keeping very well. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you a week of vegan dinners and all of the recipes will be down in the description box below. If you do try them out at home don't forget to tag me on Instagram so that I can see your creations and all of that beautiful stuff. And before we get into the recipes for today, I wanted to say a quick thank you to my friends at Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you've never heard of Skillshare before, it is an online learning community that encourages you to explore your creativity. I personally have been using Skillshare for over six months now, and I have been really enjoying learning so much more about my creativity. There are so many classes that I have been enjoying about how to use the camera that I'm using, about how to edit in Adobe Premiere Pro, about how to continue to put love and energy into my YouTube channel. And this has especially been great for me as someone who has a pretty busy lifestyle to be able to learn at my own pace as well. A class that I have been really loving lately is called YouTube Success. Build an authentic channel that is worth the follow. And this is a class by Sorel Amor. I find that using Skillshare and having these lessons and classes helps me to stay inspired, which is something that I am very grateful for. Skillshare is created specifically for learning so that means that there are absolutely no ads and it's only ten dollars per month on an annual membership however Skillshare have very kindly offered the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description box will get two months free premium membership to explore their creativity thank you again to my friends at Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and for always inspiring me to stay creative let's get into the recipes so dinner number one is arguably my favorite dinner from this entire video. It was so delicious and I first of all started by getting my Vitamix and adding in some basil, cashews, garlic, lemon, salt and pepper and then I added in the main ingredient, the sun-dried tomatoes followed by some olive oil and then I blended this all together until it was nice and creamy. You will need to allow it to blend for a while so that it gets to your desired consistency and so that the cashews crush down as much as possible. Then I cooked some gluten-free pasta, keeping in mind this recipe serves two people. And once it was all cooked, I then strained it, put it into a bowl, and then I added in my sun-dried tomato pesto. I just massaged this together <laughs> until it was nice and evenly dispersed, served it into two beautiful bowls and topped it with some extra sun-dried tomatoes, which I chopped into small pieces. Definitely recommend making this dish for yourself and for someone you love. So my friend recently made ramen for me at home and I decided to give it a go myself. This recipe is definitely not perfect, but I think it was a good first try. So I first of all started by cooking some garlic and spring onion in some sesame oil. And then I added in some water as well as some vegetable stock. And then I also added in some soy sauce. I just left this over the heat for a little while and allowed it to simmer away. Then on a baking tray I first of all started with a whole heap of spring onion I love spring onion so much and then I added some broccolini as well as some Brussels sprouts and then I drizzled some sesame oil and some soy sauce on these and baked them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes I was making a gluten-free ramen so I just got some thick rice noodles and I put some boiling water over these so that they cooked and like separated then in my Vitamix, I put the broth that I had made over the stove and then I added in some cashews to make it nice and creamy. And just an FYI, these are the noodles that I used. I put the noodles into a bowl and then I poured some of this creamy broth over the top. Then I added on the cooked spring onions as well as broccolini and Brussels sprouts. Then from there, I also put some crispy garlic on top as well as some sesame seeds. I think this was really delicious. The only thing that I would change next time is the broth. So I'll leave the recommendations for what I will make next time down in the description box below, which just makes it a bit of a thinner broth. Alrighty, I have been loving making a 
black bean chili lately just because it is so easy and I first of all started with some spring onion garlic chili and olive oil which I put into a pot and then I added in a can of black beans and then I also added in some passata is that how you say it I think that's how you say it then I also added in some liquid smoke which is the secret ingredient in this as well as some nutritional yeast pepper salt paprika and then I mix this all together until it was nice and thick then I served this in a bowl with some cooked rice uh, Cara and I are absolutely loving this at the moment I probably say this is her favorite dinner that I made and I like topping it with coconut yogurt as well as fresh coriander I was absolutely craving falafels and I found these at my local supermarket so I decided to make myself a falafel plate for something different. I first of all started by boiling some water and then adding in some quinoa. I just got tricolor quinoa. Don't know if that makes a difference but that's what I got. So I cooked the quinoa as the pack suggested and then I also baked these falafels as the pack suggested. Then I got some cucumber and then I sliced this into little cube sized pieces just so it could go into a nice salad moment I then also cut up some spinach and then after that I also decided to cut up some cos lettuce I just wanted to make like some really fresh greens to go with my quinoa and to go with my falafels and yeah this was uh, the perfect thing to go with it from there I then moved on to making my falafel plate so I put all of my greens onto my plate all of my cucumber you could add whatever other fresh veggies you would like to this is personally just what I was feeling on this day so once all of my greens were on my plate I then put some fresh herbs into my quinoa to make it bit more fresh and I also added in some onion powder and some salt just to give it a little bit of extra flavor I personally think quinoa needs quite a bit of extra flavor just my opinion though no hate on you quinoa <laughs> okay then I decided to make my tahini dressing I love tahini dressing so much tahini straight up not a vibe tahini dressing dressing definitely a vibe I just put tahini maple syrup lemon and water and mix this all together and then for my falafel plate I put my herby quinoa on top of the greens then I added on some garlic hummus then I added also my baked falafel balls you could do as many as you would like and I drizzled a whole heap of tahini dressing on top then I also put some hemp seeds for a little bit of extra nutrients and this was a very very delicious dinner definitely recommend giving it a go I've recently started to really enjoy making curries again because they are super simple they keep really well in the fridge and they are very easy to meal prep I first of all cut up a sweet potato and then in a pan I put some garlic as well as water oil and coconut cream into a pot and then I mixed this all together until it was nice and well mixed <laughs> then I added in my chopped sweet potato making sure that the coconut cream mixture was covering all of the sweet potato and then from there I also added in some onion powder and I also added in pretty much whatever herbs you want you could add here I added in some curry powder some salt and some pepper just to give it a little bit of extra flavor uh, but yeah you could add whatever you wanted to then I let this bubble away for quite a little while before I decided to add in some chickpeas. I really like sweet potatoes and chickpeas together. Again, you could use any other beans that you like to and you could also use a different vegetable if you would like to. That's what I really enjoy about curry is that it is so versatile. I served up this curry with some cooked rice and then once again, I topped it with coconut yogurt. I'm loving coconut yogurt so much on savory food at the moment. I can't get enough of it. And then I also topped it with some coriander. And yeah, this was a really delicious dinner again and also great to meal prep. There was a cafe in Melbourne that did like the best burrito bowl of all time and this was me trying to recreate it. So I first of all started with some cauliflower florets and then I put some olive oil into a bowl with them and uh, mixed it until it was nice and well coated. Then I added in some nutritional yeast as well as buckwheat flour 
pepper, salt, onion powder, and I also added on some smoked paprika, arguably my favorite seasoning in the world. Oh, I don't know though, maybe nutritional yeast is. Anyway, I put all of this into a bowl, mixed it together, put it onto a baking tray, and then baked it in the oven. Then in a pot, we're using this pot a lot in today's video, I have just noticed. I put some oil as well as black beans, salt, and pepper. Then I also added in some smoked paprika, onion powder and liquid smoke always the secret ingredient <laughs> then i mix this all together until it was nice and well cooked and the beans were nice and well coated with all the delicious spices then it came to plating the burrito bowl and i first of all started with some cooked rice as well as some cos lettuce which i had chopped up then I added my black beans as well as my roasted cauliflower. Oh, looks so good. Then I also added in some guacamole as well as once again, coconut yogurt and coriander. The ideal combo for me at the moment, apparently. Uh, yeah, and this was such a delicious dinner. Also really good for lunch as well. Kept me really full and really nourished and was honestly just really freaking delicious. You guys really thought that I could get through an entire video without eating some tempeh? Absolutely not. So this tempeh is actually not chickpea tempeh though. It is soy tempeh. I'm trying to branch out a little bit and I decided I felt like making some smoky tacos. So I got some soy tempeh, cut it up and put it into a bowl with some liquid smoke and olive oil and seasoning and baked it in the oven. Then in my Vitamix, I made a creamy sauce with some cashews, garlic, apple cider vinegar, pepper, salt, onion powder, and smoked paprika, as well as nutritional yeast. And then I topped it up with some water. Then I just blended this together until it was nice and smooth. Then it comes to plating our tacos. And of course, I always encourage you to put whatever your heart desires onto your tacos. Personally, today I decided to have some salsa, guacamole, cos lettuce, as well as my soy tempeh. And then I put my smoky sauce on top with some coriander and some fresh lime. And this once again was a really delicious and nourishing dinner. <laughs> Alrighty, my beautiful friends. So that is a week of vegan dinners. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are new. As always, thank you so much for being here, supporting me and for supporting my YouTube channel. I appreciate it and you so much. And I look forward to seeing you very soon for another video. Have a beautiful day. Bye.